Hi, I'm Chris Larson. And I'm Elaine Larson, the Florida Tech Jet Dragster driver, and we are the founders of Larson Motorsports. Here at Larson Motorsports, we don't just manufacture our own jet cars, but we are creating and inspiring the next generation of high-performance vehicles specialists. We started Larson Motorsports back in 1994, me with my super gas Vega, wanting to go out and make a name for myself on the strip. Aviation and aerospace has always been part of my background. Once I realized I had that need for speed, we combined his passion and my passion and we made the ultimate jet racing duo. And came up with our very first jet car. I remember my first pass going down the drag strip in my jet car. Man, that is where I fit. That is where I needed to be. But back in 2010, everything stopped. I had an accident that changed my life. That day when I watched my wife crash really hit us hard and changed the way we looked at drag racing. Although our cars do exceed industry standards, we are always looking for ways to make them safer. Our company shifted. We formed the High Performance Vehicles Research and Development Center that we have expanded today. In partnership with Florida Tech, we are providing enriched and meaningful internships to Florida Tech students. These students are submerged into our company and get real hands-on training that directly applies to their degrees. The skills they learn here will be used throughout their careers. Our interns have worked on research projects like renewable energy and biofuel, energy dissipating devices that are built into our chassis, human-centered design, human factors, advanced composite manufacturing, and advanced digital manufacturing that is rarely seen in small to medium-sized companies. Our interns are also matched with other leading industry professionals. One of the things that will benefit you greatly when you sign up for an internship or a mentorship is the ability to gain knowledge from people of very high experience in the industry. I mean, for instance, I've worked with a professional from Siemens. He's been a wonderful resource with this reverse engineering project that I have here with our Generation 6 chassis, as well as industry leaders from north of Grumman and a lot of other partners here in the Melbourne, Florida area. Such access to these sorts of contacts is a huge resource and a huge advantage for students like me and a lot of students around here in the United States. From Sherwin-Williams, Siemens, and Northrop Grumman, among others, to provide them with a mentor to assist in using leading industry software and equipment, as well as provide them with day-to-day -day guidance. These mentorships enlighten our interns with invaluable knowledge and business connections that they will continue to utilize long after their internships end. One of the latest research projects that we've been working on is the all-new Generation 6 Jet Dragster. I met the Larsons around nine years ago uh, when I was with a friend. He brought me over to tour the facility. Um, and I fell in love with it and they offered me a volunteer position and I've been with them ever since. In my nine years that I've been here so far, I've been a part of finishing many of the dragsters that we have, but this new generation six car, that has been my design from start to finish. When you first look at this chassis, there's two major things you'll notice. The overall length is shorter by about 55 inches compared to the uh, current jet dragsters. And then you'll see uh, side impact ducts that we have feeding air into the engine. The dragster has allowed us to implement a new modeling system with Siemens software utilizing the students. So we're making a digital twin of this car so we can implement uh, future design changes easily through a virtual world but while still having the prototype as the first one behind us. For a small company, specifically a small motorsports team, for us to start in a virtual world before we actually start fabricating a new chassis, it allows us to try out many different designs at a small cost um, so where we can change different things and test them before we actually build the car and spend a lot of money uh, notching tubing and fabricating a chassis. Possibly the most rewarding part of what we do here at Larson Motorsports is seeing what happens with those students themselves. The skills that are learned right here at Larson Motorsports during their internships are used in so many aspects of their careers. Our students move on to careers in the aerospace industry, automotive, marine, renewable energy, and so many more that directly apply to what they learn right here. My one piece of advice for the next generation that want to follow in this industry is to don't be afraid to take that first step and follow your dreams. What I like best working with this next generation of high performance vehicle specialists is what we do makes a difference. What we do can potentially change their lives. 
What we do allows them to live their dreams, not in the future, but today. The all new generation six jet dragster will make its world debut at the Supercar Week Grand Finale on January 10th, 2021 in Palm Beach, Florida. Welcome to Larson Motorsports. Today is a very exciting day. Today is the Florida Tech Day of Giving. We are so excited about that here because we work with students all the time. We work with students helping them achieve their dreams. Future doctors, lawyers, engineers, teachers, and more, helping them achieve their dreams. So how can you help? Well, at Larson Motorsports, we know a thing or two about hot rods. Yes, we have jet powered dragsters, but we also have some pretty cool other rides here. So we would like to see your hot rod. What we would like to do is have you enter your really cool hot rod, whatever that is. If it's an airplane, a boat, a rocket, a motorcycle, whatever gets your heart thumping, we would like to have you put it in our virtual car show. You will have a chance to vote on your favorite entry. So all you have to do is click the little heart button and the winner gets a very cool prize. The winner gets a crew shirt and the chance to be on my crew. Oh yeah, we're gonna put you in the middle of the fire. We're gonna have you working on the Florida Tech car and taking you to the race. It is gonna be a ride of a lifetime. Here at Larson Motorsports, we take your Florida Tech students and we give them hands-on experience. Every semester, we take between 10 and 15 new students, giving them hands-on experience, hopefully helping them enrich their lives. Now to help me give you a tour around the facility, here's Chris Larson. Thanks Elaine, I'm Chris Larson and you're at Larson Motorsports where we manufacture jet powered race cars and all the stuff that goes along with them. But probably the most important is that we're manufacturing the next generation of high performance vehicles professionals. One of my favorite projects that we've done here with Florida Tech students is this turbine engine test cell behind me. It's completely mobile, 100% self-contained and we have built this from concept, design, fully engineered into production, and it is even operated with students to test the engines that we build here, and we've even done biofuel research with the test cell. Let's go to the next stop on our tour, the Miller Jet Dragster. The Miller Jet Dragster is the actual car that we won back-to-back -back world championships with, and here's the cool part. It's all still together, all we would have to do is charge the batteries, pack the parachutes, put some fuel in it, and we could blow it down the track today. From the Miller Jet Dragster to the NASA Rockets to Race Cars and NASA Hunch area of our shop is actually where we're going to meet Lauren Ann. Thank you, Chris. My name is Lauren Ann, and I am a jet propulsion engineering intern here at Larson Motorsports. I'm also an aerospace engineering student at Florida Tech. I have the exciting opportunity now to be the educational host of NASA Hunch and Blazing Trails educational program called Rockets to Race Cars. Follow me into Rockets to Race Cars. This display is special because it not only features NASA's space shuttle mission, but it also features the Larson Motorsports jet dragsters and jet engines. This is where you can discover how NASA technology is improving performance and safety in the racing industry. Would you like to know the differences and similarities in astronaut suits and racing suits? Space shuttle seats versus racing seats or even space shuttle tires versus jet dragster tires? You can find our educational videos on Larson Motorsports YouTube. Donate now on the day of giving to help future astronauts just like me. Thanks, Lauren Ann. Yeah. Next stop on our tour is the Sherwin Williams US Chemicals and Plastic Composite Shop. Let's go. Come on in. One of the things that's pretty unique about this room right now is actually nothing to do with composites in this case. We have this really heavy duty, great, very level, very good surface, surface plate in this room. And so one of the things that we're doing right now is taking advantage of that equipment and Nico is one of the students that's been here for quite a while. Tell them a little bit about this project. This is a rocket test platform for the university. Yes, and so what we're doing right now with this is we're welding it on the surface plate so that it is exactly level when they go to put the rocket on it. 
And what I'm doing right now is making sure it's all clamped down. So as I'm welding, the heat from the welds doesn't warp the frame or bend it in any way. Also on the rocket test stand is Muhammad. Now Muhammad's working with Nico and other students on the digital side of this project. Tell us a little bit about that. So uh, here is the CAD model for a mobile rocket test platform. And uh, I've been working on this CAD model. Uh, for this CAD model, we are using Siemens NX software, which is a very powerful and strong uh, CADing software and a very powerful tool. Uh, this is the CAD model based on which we, uh, I gave this CAD model to the manufacturing team and they manufactured, uh, they came up with this design. So uh, in, we also will be using FEMAP, which is another Siemens software. Uh, we'll do structural analysis on it and then uh, complete the whole project. Tell me why Day of Giving is so important, not only to you, but all, these, all the students that work here at uh, Larson Motorsports. It really does affect you and other students with projects like this, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, one thing that I want to point out that uh, me uh, as an engineer, I want to go into the industry and work as a design engineer. So this is a great opportunity to, for me uh, to work on Siemens NX, which is a very, you know, um, in the industry it is being widely used. So it is a great opportunity for me to learn uh, Siemens NX here uh, at Larson Motorsports and also work on this project. The donations you make today during Day of Giving really do make a big difference to all the students and programs at Florida Tech. So uh, thank you, Muhammad. Thank you, Muhammad. And we're going to catch up with you at our next stop on the tour. Let's go into the Collaboration Center where students do CAD modeling. And actually, I can introduce you to Mackie, who's working on a tool. Tell them a little bit about the tool that you're working on, Mackie. So this tool is for the strut and cone assembly stand for the afterburner and we modify them so that we can get the right angle to fit our afterburners because it's different than a standard J85. Another thing that happens here in the collaboration center has to do with mentoring. Now we work with companies, great companies like Northrop Grumman, Collins Aerospace, Siemens Digital Industries, Sherwin-Williams and so many more. Those companies work directly with our students in their specific area of the industry. In fact, we have Daniel here that is actually doing that exact thing right now. Tell them a little bit about your project and why day of giving and mentoring make such a big difference in our students' lives. So one of the things that I'm being mentored on by Siemens Digital Industries is the reverse engineering of our Generation 6 Jet Dragster. One of the reasons day of giving is so important to me is because the money you donate allows students like me to do projects exactly like this. We're in one of the labs here at Larson Motorsports where Florida Tech students do machine work. Let's talk to Andrew and see what he's doing on our CNC mill. Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm a sophomore at Florida Tech and a mechanical engineering intern here at Larson Motorsports. I work with this CNC machine that was donated by Collins Aerospace. So right now I'm just loading apart for it to be cut. Um, I have it set so it's consistent and I just have to load it in against this stop and this back plate and it'll be consistent every time. It's so we can get these done in a timely manner. It's just you load it in and you'll run the program. So right now I'm going to just close this and set up the program and it it'll cut it so that there's this little notch right here in it. This is so it can sit on a welded joint without having to file down the weld and save plenty of time. From the US Chemicals and Plastics Sherwin-Williams Composite Lab, now we're headed to the engine lab. So many people love these, these labs and I really like jet engines. So let's go on in here. The first of the two labs is the Pratt & Whitney J60 lab where we would assemble Pratt & Whitney J60s. Now, not too much J60 stuff happening around here anymore. These were the first series of engines that we used in our jet cars. We're pretty much completely transitioned into the very famous, extremely high power to weight ratio General Electric J85. And back here, we're catching Logan and Maggie, a uh, couple business students, College of Engineering students, but there's an interesting blend here, right? 
Tell us about that combination that we just talked about because Logan's a College of Business student. Communications and marketing, she's a whiz. Maggie, we drew her over to the dark side, didn't we? Tell us about that. All right, so I'm actually from the College of Business, and so it's really neat because I get to take all the things that I learn about in class and apply them here at Larson Motorsports through their social media, their web design, all of the different marketing tools that we use here. And as part of that, we actually started a whole um, part of our internship being able to take in engineering students to our business side to educate um, all kinds of people about our engines. So Maggie, we brought you in for that. Yeah, so I major in aerospace engineering at Florida Tech, but here at Larson Motorsports, I take what I learned from class and I've made a video series and a blog series all about how the jet engines work um, because that really interests me. I love them. I get to get the hands-on experience and it just makes everything I've learned in class more visual and easier to understand being here with these engines. Now, your donations don't go to us here at Larson Motorsports, but they definitely impact the ability for the students like Maggie and Logan to take what they learn in the classroom every single day and directly apply it right here all the time. That really affects their careers when they leave Florida Tech. It really affects them here because they take all of that great information and get their hands on it. The next stop on our tour is the Metal Fabrication Lab, and it is going crazy back there today because we're building afterburners. Let's go. Today is an especially busy day in the Metal Fabrication Room, and that is because we have all kinds of afterburner stuff getting built. And so we're going to give you a tour of that. You're going to get a chance to meet Brian Tachi, our Director of Operations. But first, Lauren Ann, when you came to Florida Tech and you came to Larson's to visit, take a tour, see what this Larson Motorsports thing is all about, we promised you that you would get hands-on experience at Larson. Tell me about that. Is it true? Oh, yes. I have gained incredible hands-on experience here at Larson. As I stated earlier, I'm an aerospace engineering student at Florida Tech. And while I had the classroom theoretical side of things, I could really only use a screwdriver and maybe a tape measure. I really didn't have those machine shop skills that I needed for practical engineering. So when I came to Larson Motorsports, um, they just threw me on in. I began to learn how to weld. I began to learn how to use all these amazing tools that we have in this machine shop bay. And I now can make just about any part that you would need me to. How, does, how did this experience help steer the direction and some of the decisions that you made uh, for your end game, which is getting a, 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 getting a job? Well, so I fell in love with manufacturing once I came to Larson Motorsports. I'm a very hands-on person. And so I'm also a very visual person. Therefore, I learn so much better when I can see it, when I can feel it, when I can build it. So I took my practical application. They had me in the J85 um, room building engines and um, building up pot sections of the J85 jet engines. And I was able to take that and apply it to my classroom skills. But it also helped me to find a deeper love and a passion for the actual um, hands-on side of things and it helped me to understand it better. So I fell in love with manufacturing. Um, I have been in love with robotics since high school because I was on a robotics team and I was the only girl. So then for my senior design project, I was actually on the NASA robotics team as well. Um, so with that, I actually became the manufacturing lead for my entire team. And I would run through our manufacturing manuals, make sure that everything that we designed could actually then be fabricated and that we weren't designing things that weren't really possible to make. But why is the Day of Giving so important? Because it is the largest fundraising day for the university. Why is it important to you? The Day of Giving is just so extremely important because you're not just giving money back to the university, but you're giving it to the next generation of students that have a dream. My dream is to be an astronaut and it's my ultimate goal in life. And so when you're giving, you're giving back to these students that have these incredible goals that want to be the next um, 
the future of the space industry and the future of the biomedical engineering industry and the future of the mechanical engineering industry. So these are going to be your students that are going to be changing the world. Um, so when you give to the university, you're giving back to us straight hand. All right, that's Show them what we're doing back here really quick. All right, follow me. So this is Brian Tachi. He's our director of operations. Brian, what are you working on today? Um, right now, I'm making a fixture for our new afterburner. So when we install the components, everything's going to be uh, production built, always be in the same exact spot. Sweet. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Come on, follow me. So back here, we have our welding station. This is where a lot of the welding happens um, in the fabrication bay. So it's pretty cool because I actually learned how to weld from another student that had been here a few years before I had. So it's pretty cool that in the shop we actually have student mentoring. I've been able to mentor some high school students about jet propulsion and I've also been mentored by some of the older interns that have already come through and been here several years before me. So there's a lot of student collaboration that happens here in the shop. Let's go this way and meet back up with Chris at the bandsaw. Thanks Lauren Ann. Let's move really quick to the chassis jig portion of the fabrication shop back here. Now, Larson Motorsports jet dragsters are actually built in two separate halves. The back half of the car right here where the engine package goes together, this is determining whether it's a Pratt & Whitney or a General Electric powered car. And then over on the next table over here is the front half of the car where the driver's compartment forward or the front half would go together this is where we get into a lot of human factors, human-centered design, right here in this phase of the build. And then we convert back to the merging table. Now what you're seeing here is serial number two of that generation six jet dragster. The front half is already set in the saddles on the table here that it belongs in. It is perfectly positioned to be merged to the back half. This will be a General Electric J85 powered car. This is where the two halves come together simply by joining the lower frame rails, the upper frame rails, putting a diagonal on each side and a K-member in the floor and bam, you've got a brand new jet dragster ready to go, to, ready to go into final assembly. Are you ready to see what it looks like when it all comes together? Let's go out and catch Elaine at her jet car. So this just happens to be my favorite part of the shop. This is the Florida Tech Jet Dragster. I'm going to take you from nose to tail and tell you a little bit more about our race car. We're starting at the front of the car. The very front of the car helps me have downforce. There's a small wing or canard that helps produce downforce as I'm going down the track. We come on back and we have our front tires. Now, something a little bit different about a jet dragster than any other dragster is we actually have front brakes. I utilize the front brakes only in the starting line procedure. As we move back down the dragster, you're going to see a couple of air vent ducts or NACA ducts. What that does is help release some of the air that's building and pressure from under the car as I'm driving down the track. The next part is my office. This is where I go to work. I'm gonna hop inside and I'm gonna show you around. This car comes equipped with some pretty cool accessories. It has a butterfly steering wheel, it has a throttle, it has a primary parachute and a reserve chute. It has energy absorption foam to keep me safe in the car, more foam around the driver's head, and again, more foam on the top of the roll cage. I'm restrained by 12 points of restraint from my arm restraints, my chin straps, my seat belts, any way or anyhow a driver can move, we've got me pinned in here. Now, I have a couple gauges. The first one is a tachometer and the other is an exhaust gas temperature. We need to see how hot the engine's getting. We also have a, a oil light. Inside, we have four switches. The first two are the master power on. The third one is to arm the bleed door actuators that are in the back of the car. And the fourth one is actually for a safety system. In case something happens to me when I'm going down the track, the car will automatically shut off and the parachute will deploy. Behind my driver's compartment, I have my radio, my CO2 bottle, and my inlet screen. The radio actually allows me to have communication with my crew, my crew chief, and sometimes even the other driver. The CO2 bottle, that's actually what arms the bleed doors. The screen, that helps me not ingest any foreign object debris that might be on the racetrack. Back here, we have the fuel tanks. We run jet fuel in our cars. We're gonna burn about 25 gallons in a quarter mile pass. Further back, you're going to see 
we have our racing slicks. These are not the same as like traditional dragster racing slicks. This car has no transmission or rear end. It's actually thrust driven. The power of this race car is powered by a General Electric J85 out of a T38. We do a few modifications as you've seen in the engine lab, and then we make our own custom afterburner. I just need this size of a tire to hold me on the starting line so that I can stage my car and get down the track safely. Last but not least, we have our parachutes. These are the safety of everything on the jet car. Um, I rely on the parachutes to stop me 100%. At speeds that we're going approaching 280 miles an hour, the only thing that's going to get this landlocked missile stopped is a parachute. This Florida Tech jet dragster has blasted down many quarter miles over the past few years, and sadly, it's time for her to retire. So today, we're going to give you a sneak peek of the all new Generation 6 Florida Tech Jet Dragster. Thanks Elaine. Now let's give you that quick sneak peek of the all new Generation 6 Jet Dragster. Come on. We're here in the final assembly area of Larson Motorsports with Director of Operations and Florida Tech alum, Brian Tachi. Brian, there's been a bunch of people that have touched this car, but this has really been your baby the last little bit. Tell us about the Gen 6 Jet Dragster. So this new Gen 6 chassis is uh, completely different from our current chassis. You see behind us the Generation 5. It's uh, about 40 inches shorter. We have NACA ducts, uh, duct work going into the engine, changing a lot of safety factors going into the driver's compartment, and just everything has just changed from what we currently run. So Brian, the Gen 6 Jet Dragster wasn't really intended to be quicker and faster than the Generation 5, but like you and I both know, it's probably going to be a little quicker and faster because it is definitely lighter and there's some aerodynamic features that we've designed into this. But it was really designed for safety and as a research platform. Tell us a little bit about that. So we developed certain areas where we can add in different components for testing um, and research, specifically with our partners like Siemens and Northrop Grumman. And then we focus a lot of safety on the driver just to beef up the area even more so in case of a crash, we can, uh, they'll be even safer. Tell us about some of the things that you've done this car versus that earlier generation. So a big thing in the driver's compartment, you can't actually see it, but it's all interior lined and we're going to cover it with uh, foam developed by a Florida Tech working with Simpson Race Products so we can get the, the best foam for these drivers to be safe in a crash. We're going to cover up the whole driver's compartment for ballistic uh, piercing um, and then just all the different seatbelt harnesses that we're going to be using on this car. Sure, and even the side in engine inlet ducts, tell us a little bit about those because they, they'll grab some air, but that wasn't the only purpose, right? So these were actually designed to be energy absorption, so on a side impact they would absorb energy and then we put on a duct to increase airflow at the same time. To transfer that energy somewhere other than the driver's compartment. Exactly. Man, that's well, you're going to see on January 10th the global debut of this very car at Supercar Week in Palm Beach, Florida. We're not far from where you grew up, right? And, and so follow this car really close. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, thanks to Brian and a bunch of the other people that have worked on it, it is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to know more about the Larson Motorsports teams, make sure you check us out on our website at lmsjets.com. If you want to see what's going on at the shop and all the Florida Tech interns, make sure you check out the social channels. Larson Motorsports is a proud affiliate of Florida Tech, and we're especially proud to be part of the Day of Giving that affects nearly every student at Florida Tech. Please take your time to donate today in order to help Florida Tech and us build the next generation of high-performance vehicles professionals. We'll see you at the races.